There are 19 rumors in Lunar Legacy. Today I'm going to go over every single rumor up until now. Please like and subscribe if you want a part 2 when more updates come out. Anyways, let's get started. The first rumor I'll discuss is Normal Duskin. Duskin is first introduced at the beginning of the game and is the first corrupt looming in battle. After defeating it, you can find it anywhere in Roria. Duskin also has a saddle that you can use. It has a 1 in 128 chance of appearing with boost and charm. Duskin also is the first rumor introduced to the game. The next rumor is Normal Exit. Exit is the next rumor introduced to the game and is one of the most popular rumors. When you first find it, it is corrupt. You need to battle it and defeat it to continue. The next rumor is Normal Protagon, which is also another corrupt Lumion you will come across. You have to defeat it to continue and it is really popular. The gleaming gamma versions look amazing. The next two rumors can always be found and will be open to find and there are soft resets. Moonagon is a really cool rumor and the great thing about it is that anyone can get it. You just need to go to the Vanticorp Vault, solve a puzzle, and then battle it. It is a soft reset room, so that means even if you run away from it, you can still battle it again. The next room is Cephalops, which is also a soft reset room. You can find it in the Deep Lake Tome using a UMV battery to go under to go in the water. It is the only rumor that does not have a reskin currently. The next four rumors could only be found in the events and they are soft resets but they cannot be found anymore but they may return. Metronet is a really cool Metronet is a really popular rumor as well. You are able to uh, re soft reset it in the 2020 Halloween event. It is accessible when you got a certain amount of sweet juice. It later returned to the 2021 Halloween event. Metronet also has a really cool saddle. The next rumor is Wobblisk. It could be found in the 2020 holiday event and it was reintroduced in the 2021 holiday event. Wobblisk, however, did not have a saddle. The way you could access Wobblisk was by playing the Jolly Village Great Gift Exchange. It was also a soft reset roam, so you had to get a gate so you had to get a gate key from one of the gifts to um, soft reset it. The next roamer is Nevermare, which is a roamer that you could get, only get in the 2021 Halloween event. Nevermare was given a saddle, and um, to get the saddle, you had to play a maze and get a certain amount of candy coins. To get Nevermare, you had to complete the maze and get the key. Nevermare is also a soft reset. Of Kalos. It was introduced in the 2021 holiday event, and the Kalos could be accessed by getting a Jolly Mallet in the Jolly Village. You can get a Kalos, you can get the Kalos saddle from getting a certain amount of Jolly Cookies. The next four uh, Lumions are not really considered drummers, but I add them anyway. Bari is a really cool Lumion, and it does not have a, however, it does not have a saddle, um, but it does have a lot of many different evolutions, and it has a 1 in 100 chance of appearing. The charm and boost won't affect the chance of finding it. Hopefully there might be a rainbow var just like the rainbow dusk and rainbow tola. Her mine is accessible through hunting and has a 1 in 300 chance of appearing. However, the charm and boost won't affect the chance of finding it. There's an evolution which is Ferroglyph and it has a saddle. Nine Moon 8 was introduced in the 2020 suit retreat event and it was accessible by getting a cake and putting it on the pedestal. Nine Moon did not have a saddle. Cosmere is next on the list, and it is introduced in the 2021 Meteor Shower event, and then later reintroduced now in the 2022 Meteor Shower event again. It had a chance of 1 in 128 chance of appearing, and it had a saddle, and I thought the saddle looked really good. And it has two saddles, Cosmere Saddle A and Cosmere Saddle B. The next seven rumors are reskins of previous rumors and will most likely not come back. Halloween Protocon can be found in the 2021 ha Halloween event, and it looks really cool. It has no saddle, however. The design is really unique and cool. It has. It is also one of the traps in the maze to get the key. To obtain it, you can't, which you can't right now. You have to hunt for it. Halloween Exodus was introduced in the 2021 Halloween event, and it was a really interesting rumor, and it is definitely one of the best rumors introduced to the game so far. Sadly, there is no saddle for it, and no gamma versions have been found. Next rumor is Halloween Desket, which is debatably, debatably the most popular Lumion in the game. It was introduced in the 2020 Halloween event. You can use the Halloween Desket for the Desket saddle. No gamma versions have been found, and the Halloween Desket is definitely the most popular 
Rummer in the game. Ice Minigun Gun is a rumor that was introduced in the 2021 ho holiday event. There's no saddle for it, but it does have a cool look. You could obtain it by hunting for it, but you cannot get it now. Ranger Axum was introduced in 2020 holiday event. There's a saddle for it, and you can get it for some jolly cookies. You can get it by hunting for it, but you cannot get it now. Pagoda Axum was a rumor in the April Fool's event, and it caused Axums to be pagodas and Tolats to be bigger than their normal size. You cannot obtain it now, but it was obtainable in the April Fool's event. Rainbow Desk is the most desired looming in the game. It is not obtainable, but it is the coolest rumor. It is basically Desk, but it is rainbow and has a rainbow wisp. That That is it for today, so make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and for part 2 when Atlantean City comes out.